Hello there, I'm Timon and welcome to Resolve Basics, my newest YouTube channel all about video editing in DaVinci Resolve. If you want to become a phenomenal video editor, mastering shortcuts is an essential for beginner editors. And if you're watching this from the bathroom, good. Here are 20 essential shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve. Number 1. Splitting your clips. You already know that you can use the razor to add cuts to your video or split your clip. Well, instead of using this tool, simply place the playhead where you want to split your clip and hit Ctrl plus backslash on your keyboard. On a Mac, this will be Command plus backslash. First Personally, I changed this shortcut to C on my keyboard because I don't really like the original one, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. Number 2. Deleting a video. To remove a clip in the timeline, use the backspace key on your keyboard. That way you will only remove the selected clip and it will not touch the other clips in your timeline. Number 3. Ripple delete. Now if you select a clip you want to delete and hit the delete key on your keyboard, everything on the right side of that clip will be shifted to the left. So you're basically not just removing this clip from the timeline, but also the empty space. You can also use this shortcut on empty spaces by the way, if you want all of this to snap against this clip. Simply select the empty space and hit delete. There you go. Number 4. Ripple trim start to play at. With this shortcut you can trim away everything from the start of a clip to the play at. Use Ctrl plus shift plus left bracket for that shortcut. I know, this shortcut hurts my fingers too. I will also show you how to change that one in a second. First, number 5. Ripple trim end to play at. This one is similar to the previous one, but instead it will remove everything from the end of your clip to the play at. To use this, use Ctrl plus shift plus right bracket on your keyboard. It's that simple. Now let's change these shortcuts because my fingers they hurt. To do that, go to the application menu on top and click on keyboard customization. Then in this panel, go to the search bar on the right. Type in start to play it. And then right here, you'll find the original shortcut. Simply remove it and then type in the shortcut you want to use instead. I highly recommend using Q. Then click on the sign. But it still overlaps with another shortcut. So to fix that, click the warning icon and in the left panel, you can click the overlapping shortcut. That will open it up in the right panel. And here you can remove or replace it. It's that simple. Next type in end to play it. Remove the default shortcut again and replace it with X. Much better. Oh yeah, and I also changed split clips to the shortcut C because that's much better than Ctrl plus backslash. By the way, you guys can download my shortcut preset that you can easily import into Resolve and a guide with all my custom shortcuts. It's completely for free. Click the link down below. Shortcut number 6. Changing back to the selection tool. Let's say you've been using the razor tool on your clips, but now you don't know how to select your clips anymore. Well, simply hit A on your keyboard or click the selection tool in the toolbar. There you go. Number 7. Change clip duration. When you want to change the duration of a clip, select it and press Ctrl plus D or Command plus D on a Mac. Now this window will pop up and you can change the duration to whatever you like. Number 8. Playing forward. To play your video forward, you can obviously press the spacebar, but you can also press L on your keyboard. But now, why would you do that? Well, if you press it a second time, your video will actually play faster. It can be really useful when you're cutting up a long interview or something. Number 9. Playing backwards. To play your video backwards, hit J. You can again press it two times to play it in reverse faster. Number 10. Stop your video. The spacebar will pause your video, but you can also use the K shortcut to stop your playback. This is useful when you're playing with the J and L keys. J, K, L keys are actually a thing that most editors use a lot. So practice those. Speaking of practicing, you already learned 10 shortcuts. That means you must love video editing. And that's exactly why I created a DaVinci Resolve 20 beginners course. Especially for you guys. I know, DaVinci Resolve can look intimidating, but after taking this course, you will be confidently editing videos in DaVinci Resolve. We will go through every page step by step together. You'll learn to create some cool effects, cinematic transitions, smooth title animations, and you'll master the color page to make your videos look stunning. You will learn how to work with audio and so much more. By the end of this course, you will know exactly how to create professional videos. And yes, you can perfectly follow along with the free version of Resolve. Plus, you can download all the media files used in the course so that you guys can edit along with me. Now this course is brand new and because I just launched it, the first 50 people to use the code first will get 50% off. So go check out the first link in the description down below to get started with the video editing 
right away. Back to the shortcuts. Number 11. Jumping a second forward. If you want to jump a second forward in your video, hit shift plus right arrow. Simple. Number 12. Jumping a second backward. And of course, to jump a second backward, hit shift plus left arrow. Number 13. Jumping to the start of your timeline. Now, when you want to do that, just press the home button on your keyboard. Number 14. Jumping to the end of your timeline. Now, when you want to jump to the end of your video, press the end key. All right. Number 15. Full screen viewer. To enable the full screen viewer hit ctrl plus f or command plus f on a mac number 16 zooming in on your clips in the timeline just hold down alt and scroll with your mouse believe me you're gonna need this one number 17 if you want to zoom in one of your viewer panels just scroll to move it around click and drag the scroll wheel very easy number 18 add markers to add a marker in your timeline press ctrl plus m or command plus m on a mac number 19 mark in and mark out when you want to create a selection just move the playhead to the location where you want the selection to start and then hit i then move the playhead to the location where you want the selection to end and then press o on your keyboard now you've created an in to out selection number 20 snapping We've all been there. We wanted to snap a clip against another one and it just won't work. That's probably because you accidentally turned off snapping. To enable it, hit N. And now you can just drag them against each other and they will come together like magnets. You can also enable it by clicking the magnet right here in the toolbar. Now, if you want to learn the basics of DaVinci Resolve in just 15 minutes, click the video right here on my left to continue the lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.